Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, specifically the solar wind, and some flood news. But we're going to start with the Earth-facing quiet effect. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we see yet another day unfold with eruptions of filaments near the limbs and the far side with absolutely nothing fired at Earth. Minor pops and surges, but nothing resembling CME production or solar flaring. The big sunspot group is now beginning to depart the disk, having failed to produce, and I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for fireworks from the incomer either. Solar wind is a bit more interesting. Speed bottomed out yesterday, followed by what appears to be the density lead out ahead of speedier particles. The speed should rise quickly today, but given the delay in impact, it won't be anywhere near as bad as if it had hit on the 15th, as the experts predicted. Level 1 storms are a good possibility, but stronger ones, somewhat unlikely. Coronal hole structures here, all from the same southern system, tip this way now, and when the entire hemispheric IMF faces you, there is less seismic fluctuation and fewer geomagnetic effects. That's what we're seeing since the initial shift to this field set. Let's go to NASA's Earth Observatory and check out the rainfall totals in Louisiana. They're now calling it a thousand-year flood. Between a thousand-year floods and a thousand-year rainfalls, that Maryland event just a few days earlier was the ninth such event in the U.S. since 2010, making Louisiana the tenth. And according to the Weather Channel, it's the third in this country just this year. Of course, the flooding in the U.S. is actually not as bad as some other places in the world. We're going to shift from Asia to Africa today, where a hundred dead in the Sudan is just the beginning of a nightmare that took out almost every home in its path. Deeper Look number 64 is posted to the website. It's a review of the latest paper that attempts to debunk the chemtrail conspiracy. I think you'll find the analysis interesting, along with a link on that page to our recent longer discussion. As for the earthquake challenge, we've got about a week to reach a settlement and then Aries and Kronos are going to want to show. We've got Earth spot pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.